Hello guys, another Friday, which means video from my office, not that much about Laravel from technical point of view, but more about dev career. And today I want to summarize the most typical questions that I get over 10 plus years of being a Laravel content creator. I realize that majority of those questions can be grouped into two global questions, which and how. And also at the end of this video, I will point the third type of question, which you should probably ask instead of those two. Let me explain. So the first type of questions that I get online in YouTube comments on Twitter and email is which path should I take basically? Which language or framework should I learn? Which tool should I use? Which package should I choose? Which design pattern? Which structure of Laravel project? Action or service? Stuff like that. And for some of the things we do have roadmaps, like for example, recently visually we updated the visual roadmap on our Laravel daily listing the possible tech stack options. So for some of those questions, we can make some kind of visual chart, but other things are not that strict and it depends on the situation. And many of you guys seek my guidance in the comments. So I would recommend you what you should do in your situation. And of course, the space for the comment or email is pretty short. So the description of that situation is pretty short and vague. So I can kind of show you the options of like live wire and inertia, but it's your choice. And the only way I know how you can improve that choice is to try both options or all options if you have more than two. In most cases, the result of your choice will be clearer only down the road, only much later. So you will never have a 100% guarantee that you will get a job, for example, if you choose view inertia versus live wire. But what you can do is investigate all options and try them out. Try both packages, at least install them and see the first impression. Try both languages at least on hello world level and then bet on something. You are still betting anyway, but you may increase the chance of bet being a good one by exploring the options from practical level instead of or in addition to asking myself or other people online. And if you do ask opinions of others, try to describe the situation in a more clear way, both for yourself and that person. And side note, while you're doing that clarity exercise, there's quite a high chance that you will answer your question yourself. So try to describe in this project, I'm doing this and that, the client demands this and that, and then while brainstorming that, while writing that out, you may come into conclusion yourself. So this is the first type of question, which? And the global answer, try for yourself and see for yourself. Other external people may just help with advice, but that advice may be biased and even incorrect or even harmful. The second type of question that I get is how? The most typical one is how do I start with something? How do I start learning Laravel, for example? How do I start writing automated tests and stuff like that? And the most typical answer to that, you can start by just starting. There's a great meme about it and I send that meme pretty often on Twitter as a reply to a similar question, how do I start? The only way to start is to start. I remember I saw on YouTube this thought and then I googled and landed on this article. I'm not sure who's the actual author of that, but do the thing and then the list of what actions are actually not meaning doing the thing. Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. And then the list goes on, including reading about how to do the thing isn't doing the thing. The only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. I really like this approach. So no amount of external guidance will actually help you start doing the thing. And when you start doing the thing, then you bump into real problems, real issues, which are then much more actionable. And then you go Google, ask someone, ask ChatGPT or whatever, but with much more actionable question instead of, how do I start? The question is why something is not working for me. This is the code. This is the situation. Why it's not working? And this is actually where I'm heading to as the third question, which is preferable in my opinion, instead of which and how the correct question is why maybe correct is not the right word, but the question why is much more actionable. Developers who think about why tends to be much more valuable to the company. For example, when you're talking to the client about upcoming feature, you can ask, why do you need that feature? And then it would help to 
shape that feature in a better way or potentially even avoid coding that feature and spend the time elsewhere more efficiently. Or the same questions of which if you ask which framework should I choose, it's not actionable. The actionable question is why should I choose this framework in this specific situation for that specific project? And then you yourself may Google the answer or someone else can answer it for you. There's even a general way of thinking, not sure if I'm accurately describing that, but think from the first principles. Think about why and then that would massively help you to solve which and how. I hope this kind of philosophical video will get you on track to ask the right questions and do your due diligence before asking them. And as usual, I'm happy to answer your questions, but I hope in the future they are much more actionable and my answers then are more useful. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.